We're here every week talking about auditions and improving your audition process and your systems uh, with tips and strategies and things that today's working actors are using to book more roles in television and film. But uh, we like to have some segments that talk a little bit about the biz. As uh, we all know, it's called show business. And um, so one of my mentors and coaches uh, on the business side of things is a guy named James Wedmore. He runs an incredible online business coaching program called Business by Design, uh, where he especially helps online and digital entrepreneurs grow their business. And one of the things that he shipped out to us when we joined is he's got these nice little flashcards here. And uh, I know that we're all artists and actors and artists love to be artsy and it's about the craft but also the realities were also business if you're looking to make money from this um, maybe if you're a hobbyist and you want to do community theater and this is just a creative outlet that's also amazing too but i know that most of our clients and our audience they are working actors and they're actors because they want to like they're 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 working to make a living from their acting as well in addition to grow as an artist and grow as a performer and hone their craft. So we're going to share some of James Wedmore's tips from business by design, because one of the brilliant things about being an actor is we really get to create our, our own careers. There's no common path. Everyone's career is different. Everyone's path is different, but I think you got to take some ownership and really see yourself as the CEO, uh, director or executive producer, writer, producer of your own career and your own business. So we're going to, we've randomly selected some cards to share. So I'll share the first one. We love these here. He, uh, it's got some nice little cartoons and this one says you can't stand out when you're trying to be like somebody else. Mm -hmm. And I'll read the rest. If you're like most struggling entrepreneurs and we can swap in their actors or artists, you're probably trying to build your business by copying everyone else. But the successful ones are those that have the courage to stand out and be different. I don't know if that there's a better card that applies to uh, auditioning as well, because part of our job is obviously to serve the story. Like Brandon Shirt says, story over everything. And you're a storyteller. But also one of the challenges is when you're one of 500 people competing for that lead role is you got to figure out how to. Uh, authentically stand out yourself and and how to be yourself. And so we often talk about being an actor is to be a professional human being. And um, so I think, yeah, this is a great card. What do you think of that one, Brandon? I like that. I love it reminds me of the the Pixar sketch with the with the birds on the on the um, the electrical wire. Angry birds? Are they no, angry not birds? angry birds. There is a sketch where there's all these little birds that are hanging out on this wire. And then this big bird comes along that's just different than all the other ones. And it parks itself right in the middle. And then everyone is like all making fun of this bird. Um, and like it, it ends up uh, uh, being so heavy that it the bird takes all of the other birds down with it. And then the birds are trying to, the little birds are trying to kick off this big bird. And they end up doing that. But as soon as they do it, the wire that they're on has become so like, uh, as, like just become a divot basically. So as soon as the bird gets off, that's in the middle, they all go flying out. Nice. <laughs> the big bird's just like, oh, where did all my new friends go? That was good. You just described a cartoon. If only there was some way we could get that animated and turn that into a visual thing huh we'll have yeah. to we'll, we'll hook up the link uh, but i think that's great um in in auditioning and and in your business too i think um you need to stand out and how do you stand out you're one in a million just who you are so really you tap into your authenticity tap into your your real motivations as a human being mm -hmm. and your your arsenal of tools uh, ideally, you've trained as an actor as well and taken a bunch of classes, gone to a conservatory, gone to theater school, gone to film school. So it's about all those tools in your tool belt, how to play different notes, how to use your instrument. And then the, on the business side of it is uh, we get to we get to really write our own path. There's no this isn't like you graduate and then you just enter into an internship and and then you progress up the ladder in this corporate world. You have full control over that. So it's how do you figure out 
how to stand out in this business and how to run your business. It's great. You got another card? I do. Uh, the less I do, the more I make. Mm. I love that. Most this is, oh, go ahead. No, continue. Uh, the card says most entrepreneurs or artists or actors struggle because they think that growing their business means working harder and longer. Does that sound like what you're doing? And I love that. I've always, I've always been of the um, idea that you need to work smarter, not harder. Right. Because like you can, you can grind things out as much as you want, but like sometimes it doesn't work out. Like you, you have to think of what's the best way to go about this. What, what is the best way to make me stand out? What is the best way to make our business stand out and different from everyone else like sort of pairing with what your card was Lars um and like the more you do that like the 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 more you think outside the box the the more you're going to stand out and the more your business is going to be better for it um and you have to be malleable you have to be able to go with the flow as well um especially as performers especially as actors um you need to be able to go with the flow you need to be able to uh, work something so so well and so smartly that you're able to do anything with it. It, it sort of comes back to what we talk about as well with the uh, doing the script 250 ways. Right. Yeah. And then and that's um, that's something that James repeats over and over again. That the 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 say say the first part again. Say it again. Just the way he says it. Oh, um, the less I do, the more I make. Right, which is something that James will say is hashtag backwards. It sounds, especially in a world of hustle and hustle and hustle, hustle and grind, hustle and grind, hustle and grind, do more work, do more work, do more work. Um, but what he's also saying is, is really not saying, I think James is probably one of the hardest workers out there, or he, like he does a lot, he produces a lot. But I think part of that is also choosing your zone of, genius and working in that so you don't need to do a million things you need to do the things that you're really really good at and the things that are your highest value activities for a business that's your highest revenue generating activities for an actor for an artist that likely means rehearsing and honing your craft that means being on stage that means writing and creating and then there's a lot of other things like building your website or making social media posts or handling your accounting or all these other tasks, even cleaning your house or um, sending emails out or, or building some promotional materials. There's a lot of things that you could outsource for certain like $15 an hour jobs, $20 an hour jobs um, that you could have assistance for. You could have one offs for. But what he's talking about there is staying in your zone of genius. You don't need to do everything, but certainly as an actor, you need to do some things. And that's honing your craft, honing your instrument, finding more auditions, uh, improving your auditions would go under that category as well. So it's it's um, it's often his coaching sounds a little counterintuitive, but it makes it makes a lot of sense. And also when you're thinking a little different than the rest of the crowd that will help you stand out like that other card. Um, yeah, I love that. The more, the less I do, the more I make. Is that what it is? The less I do, the more I make. Yeah. Yeah. And people will take that as, Oh, he's saying be lazy and you make a lot of money. Uh, but I think he's also saying be aligned as well. Finding the things that you're aligned with. You don't always mm -hmm. have to feel like shit because you're, because you're hustling, hustling, hustling. Thank you.